Hello and welcome to Animating with Scratch. It's going to be a mini guide to help people uh, create beautiful animations using Scratch. And I'm going to divide it up into really bite-sized chunks. So in this first chunk, we're really looking at uh, two um, blocks that I think are going to be really useful to help you animate. Uh, first, that, that first block is going to be called Glide, and the second block is called Point in Direction. This tutorial series assumes that you have a basic understanding of Scratch. If you need any guidance or, or you need to sort of just make reference to things, you can always use the Scratch website found here. And uh, it's a brilliant site. It sort of introduces uh, Scratch and what it is, looks at the basic ingredients of a Scratch project, and gives you this wonderful picture explaining what uh, the Scratch interface looks like and what it does and what all these things mean. Uh, it also goes on about the stage about sprites uh, and also about the block palettes and the script area. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at the script area which is here and we're going to be controlling our sprite which is this cat and it's called sprite one. We could rename it. Let's call it cat for now. So we can rename our sprites up here. So we've renamed our cat uh, and uh, here's our cat. And at the moment, it does nothing at all. Okay, so we'll, let's let's make something happen with this cat. So I'm going to drag this cat to the bottom left-hand side of our stage, and we can see as we drag our cat around the stage, there are some numbers up here which change, and that's because there's an invisible grid behind us, uh, made up of X and Y. Now I'm going to change the stage background and show you what that grid looks like. So I'm going to go to our backgrounds on our stage by clicking stage down here and then background tab here and I'm going to import this XY grid found in backgrounds. Okay. And this XY grid shows you that um, our background, our, our stage is made up of two dimensions Y and X. And Y is up and down and X is kind of left and right. Uh, so it's, this is our invisible grid and we can actually plot the movement of this cat around this grid by using uh, X and Y references. Uh, that sometimes seems a bit complicated, especially for younger children, but in actual fact they kind of get it straight away. And the, the techniques I'm going to show you today are, are going to make it really easy. So you don't really have to think, oh my god, I have to do some maths. What you have to do is just you have to just double click the cat to get that reference of the numbers. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just showing you the reference so, so you have a better understanding of what's actually going on in the background if you like. So let's uh, let's get rid of this stage and put something a bit more interesting in instead. Because we're, we're doing animation. So let's do outdoors and let's go down. Let's do uh, a city. So I'm going to press OK. And there we go. That looks a bit more interesting. So that's a, a cityscape. And there's our cat walking along the street. So I'm going to click back in our cat and go to scripts. And uh, we're going to start making him move about the, the, uh, the stage. So the first things first, with Scratch you need to initiate something, you need to start something off. And what the way to do that is we need to control it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say when the green flag is clicked, do something. Okay. So And we want it, him to move. So we're going to go down to motion. And when the green flag is clicked, we want our cat to always start over on this side of the screen. So Whenever we start an animation, we need to remind this cat where he's starting. So at the moment, he's starting in this area here, and he's at x minus 148 and y minus 100. And lucky for us, we've all these numbers over here uh, look like they've uh, they've got those numbers in them. And that's because we, if we double click the cat, let's move him over here and double click him, you can see that these numbers change. So wherever I move the cat, it hasn't changed yet. It's only when I double click that these numbers reset to wherever the cat is positioned. So let's put, put him back at the beginning, double click him, and we can see that we've got those positions. So we want him to go to, always, because he might be somewhere else, go to this position to start his animation. Once we've gotten in that position, what I want this cat to do is walk to the right-hand side of this stage. Just walk along the street. Uh, and we're going to use glide to do that. So I'm going to move the cat to the other side of the stage. 
double click the cat and that enables us to reset these numbers and I'm going to drag glide for one second to this position. Uh, so let's test that out by pressing the green flag. Click. Whoa, he moved quite fast then, didn't he? So let's change those that number. Let's put it to two seconds and click the green flag. Brilliant. Okay, so there's our first animation, and it looks quite simple. Uh, and it's just really a cat moving from the left to right. If we want to do something a bit more interesting uh, or more complicated, what I could do is I could uh, we could change the background. Um, let's choose something. Uh, well, yeah, let's choose a. Let's choose something like that. Okay. Go back to our scripts. Oh, go back to our cat. And go to our scripts. And we'll take those off. And what I want to do here is I want to make our cat walk over here um, to the back and then walk forwards a bit. So we're going to make him turn. Okay. So we're going to go to motion. And again, I'm just going to double click our cat and make sure he starts off in the position I want him to start off in, which is uh, currently uh, x uh, equals minus 179 and y equals minus 103. Then I want him to glide a little bit. I want him to go to about here. So double click him, drag glide in. And then I want him to turn. I want him to turn slightly in this direction. And the way we turn our cat is uh, we go up to this uh, kind of preview of the sprite here. And we can see that there's a blue line here. And I'm going to click that blue line and I can make it move. I can actually turn it all the way around. I can position it any way I like. But I'm going to turn him. A little bit like that. And we can see that we've got a number here and it says 71. So I'm going to grab this one here, which is pointing direction. And unlike these ones where I double click uh, our sprite, this doesn't change, this number doesn't change. I have to take my number from up here. So I'm going to type in, click this, and type in 71. Which reminds us. Uh, when I start my cat off first of all, I might have to make sure that he's pointing in a 90 degree angle. So let's just, while I'm here, put this in right at the beginning. So he's pointing in the, in a, in the right angle, and so when he gets to this point, he'll actually turn uh, to 71 degrees. Um, okay, so let's, let's do the next bit, which is going to drag our cat over to this section here. Double click our cat. We get here and we're going to drag this one in. I'm going to move our cat slightly so he's pointing in the other direction and point him in this direction and that's 105 so I'm going to say 105 and uh, and then I'm going to make him move down to this bit here double click him glide there and make him uh, and make him point in the 90 degrees again. So let's click the green flag and see what that looks like. So let's walk along, walks to the back, walks forward and stops. So hopefully what we've learned today is we've learned how to point our character in different directions and glide in well, however many seconds you want from one point to another uh, after you click the green flag. So remember, it's uh, to do these animations, you, you're kind of creating a list of instructions for our sprite to follow. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, just do leave them in the comments section below. And thanks for listening. Yeah.